Welcome to my channel, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this star trinket dish. This is a small project so you won't need much yarn. I used a 4.5mm hook and iron weight cotton. You will also need scissors and a tapestry needle. To start, we're going to make a magic ring using the colour you want the base to be. At the start of each row, we're going to chain one. And now we're going to put 10 single crochets into the magic ring. Because we've reached the start of the next row, chain one. Now pull the yarn at the back really tight so the ring is closed. For row 2, we're going to do an increase in every stitch until we have 20 stitches. And to do this, just put 2 single crochets in each stitch. Here I'm just closing the ring again as it came loose. For row 3 we're going to chain 1 and then single crochet into one stitch and increase in the next. And we're just going to repeat this until 30 stitches or until you've gone all the way around. For row 4, we're going to do 2 single crochets and then an increase, and we're going to repeat this until there's 40 stitches. This is how it should look at the end of row 4. And for row 5, we're going to do 3 single crochets followed by 1 increase until 50 stitches. This is how it should look at the end of row 5. Row 6 is going to be the last row with increases and we need to do 4 single crochets and 1 increase until 60 stitches. Now we need to do 3 rows of just single crochets so that's 60 stitches all the way around. When you get to the end of row 9, leave the last stitch on your hook. This is so we can switch to the same colour you're going to be using for the star. And to do this, just loop the new colour around and pull it through the two stitches on your hook. The colour change counts as chain 1, so now we're going to do one final row of single crochets all the way around. After single crocheting into the last stitch, we're going to slip stitch into the next one. And now that the base is complete, we're just going to tighten any ends and cut them off. Once you've cut the end attached to the working yarn, we need to pull it through the last loop. Now all that's left to do is to weave the ends in, and before I do that I cut them shorter just to make it a bit quicker.
This is what the finished dish looks like, and now we need to make the star. And to do that, we're going to start by making a magic ring. We're going to chain one and then do 15 double crochets into the ring. To double crochet, we need to yarn over, go into the ring, hook the yarn and pull it back through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now we're going to pull the yarn at the back to close the circle and slip stitch into the first stitch. To make the points of the star we need to chain 5. Single crochet into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Double crochet. For the last stitch we need to treble crochet which is yarning over twice at the beginning and pulling through three times at the end. Now that we've finished the first point, we need to skip two stitches and slip stitch into the third stitch from the point. And now we need to repeat this process four more times. Now that the star is done, we need to cut the yarn and pull it through the last loop. Now I'm just tightening the circle to make sure it's secure, and now all that's left to do is cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Now that all the ends are weaved in, we need to get a tapestry needle and attach a long bit of yarn to it in order to sew the star to the dish. Here I'm just tying the yarn to the needle and I'll also be tying knots at the end of the piece of yarn so that it's secure. I'm going to start from the back and sew the star onto the base.
Now that the star has been sewn on, we need to cut the ends and weave them in. This is what the finished trinket dish should look like. If you made this, then be sure to tag me on Instagram at Nocturne Knitting. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure to check out my other star themed videos. Thanks for watching!